On this edition of the Pest Geek Podcast, we're going to be discussing exterior rodent stations. Now, what is the difference between an exterior and an interior rodent stations, and why should it matter? Well, the fact is that federal law requires that any station placed outside a building with rodenticide bait must have a weight on it to prevent a child or a pet from being able to tip it over. What you mostly are familiar with are these types of stations that you can use indoor with rodenticide, but you can't place these outside because they don't weigh anything and a child can tip it over, turn it backwards, and the rodenticide bait can fall out and a pet or a child can eat it. And then what we have is a medical emergency. So these stations also have a federal requirement that they cannot be placed more than 100 feet away from a building or a structure, okay? You gotta make sure that if you're gonna use these, that your state allows you and your local government allows you to do your own rodent control. And if you're a professional pest control operator, you should know about the FIFRA law. So what we're looking at is this is an exterior rodent station that has this huge weight. It weighs probably about eight, nine pounds. It's mounted on the outside. You can see it right here it's bolted to it and it's mounted on the outside. So a child or a small dog, even a large dog, can't pick this up and toss it easily, okay? So does this one, this one is I waited. Now this one has on the inside, it comes with a secure key. These have to be secured and they're tamper resistant so a child can't open this without the key. And so what you do is you open it up and I'm gonna flip it around for you. And what you get on the inside, you're gonna, it comes with this little sticker where you must record who the company is, what bait product was used, what's the active ingredient, what's an emergency number to call if there's a problem, your name and number must be on it, and it must be recorded so when you perform the services, you can record the dates that you did the service. It has the little rod right here where you put the bait on and you slide the, the bait on there. And it also has, yeah, we'll put that in there. And it also has these in the middle, okay? That is, it's designed to be easily cleaned out uh, when you are performing a rodent service, especially in facilities that are inspected inspectors are going to want these things to be cleaned out and that no debris is in there. Okay, so that is an important thing to understand on commercial accounts that you have to clean these out because inspectors will have a fit. Now this other one, which is our Evo Express, okay, Evo Express comes with the little label, the key, and the little rods, and the brick is inside. You see, so there's this big giant, like a paver. It's about the size of a paver. Now, what most people are doing, which is a bad idea, is to take one of these, go down to your hardware store, pick up a paver, and glue it to the bottom. Here's the problem. You have a huge liability. If that brick comes off and it gets unglued, you have a potential liability on your hands. Second, the cost of going and buying this and then going out buying the brick and then buying the adhesive or the bolts to put this together, the cost is substantially higher than just, just buying one of these, okay? So I see this all the time, people doing that, and it's a way to cheap out, it's unprofessional, Anybody who does this to your building and puts one of these outside where they made it with a brick is clearly not a professional. So get the professional product. This one is made by VM Products. It's called Easy Clean. 
And this is called the Protecta Evo Express, and it's made by Bell Labs. Both of them are excellent products. We actually use both of these in our practice, and they are great products to use. It's going to depend on location, aesthetics, what the customer prefers. A lot of customers don't want to see this brick. They prefer this one. So we give the client the choice of what they want. There's always a little bit of a cost difference, but it's not substantial. So you always make sure when you put them that they snap into place and they shut and that they don't open. Another secret that you want to know about these, if they're still good, these things can go bad after several years of being exposed to sun and heat and weather, is if you kick them and they open, you got to replace them. You cannot leave them there. Uh, the client cannot continue to have you. The client needs to know that these need to be replaced. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and share it with your friends. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a Pestacular Day.